Yes, well, fortunately, uh, and, I, and I did mention as well to you in the in the off session about you know the infrastructure. Uh, the property is cut by the Trans Canada Highway. Our base, where I'm speaking to you from, is uh, 20 minutes from the property boundary. The assay lab is an hour's drive. The drilling company's home base is an hour's drive to the west of us. So you know we can operate pretty cheaply, and um, you know we're, we're budgeting you know less than $150 a meter all in. Hello and welcome to Assay TV. Uh, today we're talking with Tim Froud, who is the President, CEO and Director of Sockerman Minerals. Uh, Sockerman Minerals are exploring in Newfoundland uh, and they have a project called the Moosehead Gold Project. Uh, delighted to see you uh, today, uh, Tim. Uh, if we could start off um, by talking a little bit about the region you're in up there. There's some uh, very sort of interesting prospects um, around uh, where you're drilling. Tell us a little bit about, about the region. Yeah, thanks, and it's great to be here, Leo, uh, and have this opportunity uh, to, to give our story. Um, yeah, well, central Newfoundland has, has long had a mining history, uh, but generally for commodities other than gold. It's, it's more of a, it's been in historically a destination more so for, for base metals and things like that than, um, than say, a straightaway gold deposit. But uh, in the last 30 or 40 years, Newfoundland has become more of a, of, I guess, of a, of a destination of, of, of choice uh, uh, for gold explorers. And specifically, uh, uh, the area uh, where we are, which is more north central Newfoundland, uh, is cross cut by a, a major regional, well, it's more than a regional, it's a, it's a significant uh, crustal scale suture zone that actually stretches all the way over to the UK and as far south uh, west as down into the Carolinas of the United States. And dotted along that are multiple multi-ounce, multi-million ounce uh, gold deposits. Um, New Central Newfoundland has really only come, I guess, to the, uh, I guess, focus of, uh, of, of dedicated explorers in the past, uh, say, five or six years uh, with the advancement, the rapid advancement of the project called Valentine Lake uh, owned by Marathon Gold, uh, which currently has resources uh, in all categories of uh, uh, over 4 million ounces, which is a significant gold deposit. And uh, in more recent years, um, and I'll speak to our success uh, uh, as part of that, um, multiple high-grade showings have been, uh, have been located uh, along and associated with this major structure. Um, our project sits... Um, right on the Trans-Canada Highway. It's uh, ideally located in terms of infrastructure and access. And as you mentioned, we do have several projects uh, in the region, not just ours, that uh, have garnered uh, significant uh, uh, you know, investor interest, including uh, our, our own Moosehead, as well as New Found Gold's uh, a project uh, about a half an hour's drive to the east of us. And we've attracted, uh, you know, several uh, significant uh, players in Canada's gold business uh, to uh, to this uh, to this area, including people like Eric Sprott, Rob McEwen, and you know the money is the money is pouring in here. It's it's, it's nice to be finally uh, on, I guess, the radar screen of uh, of more than just ourselves and our friends and family sort of thing. So uh, yeah. it's uh, it's it's very nice to see, and uh, it's very busy here. In fact, drills are hard to come by, so uh, that gives you an idea. In fact, we're still waiting for our second of two drills that we were hoping to have uh, at the outset. But um, you know, people keep finding money and extending programs, so. Uh, uh, we have one drill where we're working away now, but uh, we certainly would like to add the second one to, uh, you know, to speed up the process and uh, and hopefully generate news, uh, you know, that much quicker for our shareholders. Mm. Absolutely. Um. So you you you've already had sort of a five phases of of, of drilling, um, and in those five within those five phases, you have some pretty impressive looking um, hits there. Do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, about what you found so far? Well, it all started with hole one, uh, which may or may not be, be a good thing to do because you're kind of held to that standard uh, with every other drill hole that follows. But uh, so be it. You know, we, we had a great hold, hole one, hold, our discovery hole, 1801. It returned, I think, just under 12 meters of, of 45 grams per ton. And that's when the phone started to ring for us. And, uh, you know, when you, when you release results like that, that are in the hundreds of gram meters, which is what you get when you multiply the grade by the thickness. And a lot of people use that as a kind of a guide for the significance of, a, of an intercept. And, you know, and you're right. I mean, every phase, we've drilled five phases. We've drilled just under 28,000 meters of core. And uh, every phase has hit multiple holes with, you know, uh, very significant gold. Uh, 
uh, including you know five meters of 124 grams, for instance, in hole 39 and others. And um, yeah, it's uh, but uh, you know these vein systems are are a little complex, you know, by their very nature. It's not like drilling off um, you know, a porphyry copper or or or, you know, or monstrous iron ore deposit where you know you're going to get the same thickness and grade, you know, 500 meters and 500 meters sort of thing. Mm-hmm. These things need to be drilled out, you know, a little more carefully, a little more thought put into it, but. Uh, yeah, we're very happy with the way things have gone, and uh, you know, investors keep, uh, you know, uh, you know, keep us uh, in the game by uh, participating in, in our financings, and uh, you know, uh, we we are funded for this program, and uh, and uh, that's good news for our shareholders. Mm, absolutely. Well, I mean, five meters at 124 uh, grams per ton is certainly going to get people's attention. Uh, what's your plans now for phase six? Well, basically to make the beast bigger, um, you know, uh, you, you asked in the, uh, in the off session, you know, about, uh, you know, how we're, how we're going to move forward with this project and, and significant milestones. Well, you know, this, this deposit uh, now has to show its, its strength and its length and its depth. And, and, uh, and the main features of this or the main, I guess, goals of this program are to make the thing deeper, longer, and, uh, and obviously bigger. Um, you know, right now we've drilled down vertically about 200 meters. You know, that's really the deepest we've been. And, and to be quite honest, uh, you know, we haven't had real need to go any deeper because it's open in all directions. So, you know, if, if, if high grade opportunities are, 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 you know, are drillable, you know, with, with relatively shallow drilling, you know, we have to take that opportunity. And, you know, uh, some of our best intercepts are, are 60 meters vertically below surface. So, I mean, you know, or less. And, and we know there's boulders of high grade material at surface. So these things come to surface. So, you know, this ultimately, and uh, cautious, far, you know, forward looking statement here, you know, um, you know, there will probably be, if there is a mine, if there ever is a mine here, you know, it will be, you know, perhaps a combination of an open pit and, um, and some underground and uh, you know uh, clearly with you know multi-ounce material in the near surface uh, you know that's a very attractive target to chase. Mm-hmm. So you, how deep are you planning to drill then this time? Well I'd like to get down to the 400 meter level you know vertically uh, that would basically double you know the, the current uh, the current uh, down dip uh, potential that, that we've defined and really the strike length is uh, is really the the, the the property limits i mean you know <clears throat> we have you know over 8 kilometers of, of this structure and uh, you know really only 25% of it uh, basically 2 kilometers of it has been drill tested at all mm-hmm. and really in detail uh, about 4 to 500 meters so i mean mm-hmm. you know there's still plenty of room uh, we have geochem news coming in the next couple of weeks uh, on, on some very exciting till results that we've just received that we will be addressing with, with uh, you know, diamond drilling, wildcat diamond drilling. And, and those are the really exciting ones, you know, the, the holes that, you know, you're, you're drilling an area for the first time. And, you know, um, you know, is there another, is there another bonanza zone here? You know, uh, this property certainly has the capability to deliver bonanza grades. Mm, absolutely. And, and you, you're fully funded for this, for this phase of drilling, yeah? Yes. Well, fortunately, uh, and, I, and I did mention as well to you in the in the off session about you know the infrastructure. Uh, the property is cut by the Trans Canada Highway. Our base, where I'm speaking to you from, is uh, 20 minutes from the property boundary. The assay lab is an hour's drive. The drilling company's home base is an hour's drive to the west of us. So you know we can operate pretty cheaply, and um, you know we're, we're budgeting you know less than $150 a meter all in. That includes mm-hmm. all of our costs. So, you know, we can drill, you know, two to three times as much core for our buck uh, here in this part of the country than, you know, some people exploring in other parts of, the, of Canada. So, yeah, uh, we have about 2.6 or $2.7 million in the treasury and we've budgeted for 10,000 meters, about a million and a half. So, you know, we certainly won't run the tank dry. We'll have a little in reserve in case we want to drill a few extra holes. And I don't like running the tank dry anyway. You know, you kind of put yourself in a vulnerable position. So I'd like to, you know, uh, keep the treasury somewhat healthy because uh, trust me, it's easier to get money when you got money. Absolutely. Um, so you mentioned uh, Eric Sprott was one of your shareholders. Uh, who else have you got on the register? Well, in terms of big names like that, uh, he would certainly be the biggest. Uh, we do have several corporate uh, companies, other mining companies that are, are strong players in the business, Benton Resources and, uh, and Metals Creek uh, are, are 
are people that we uh, you know we've we've had dealings with and and have uh, acquired properties from and uh, and you know their significant shareholders as well as their principals actually participating in our financing. So um, the stock is very widely held, and you know that makes us very liquid. In fact, I would suggest seventy to seventy-five percent of our stock is in outside hands, and uh, you know some people like that, and, and some people don't like that. Uh, you know, some people like to see a more a tighter ship. You know, management. You know, with a with an iron grip on, on it. But you know, that tends, to, I think, to limit your market, limit your your you know your exposure to new shareholders. And uh, uh, I'm you know I'm of the opinion that you know our our liquidity is is a good thing. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. if you want to get a position, you can get a position. If you want to unload your position, you can unload your position. Uh, so you know, either way, it works for me, right? Fantastic. And you've got some other regional targets, uh, Crippleback and East Alder. Um, but yes. you have some plans maybe to do something else with those ones. Can you tell us about that? A little bit? Well, you know, it's it's hard to be focused on two or three things at the same time. You know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, chewing gum and walking for some people. You know, they, they just prefer to do one or the other. Uh, and that may be a very oversimplistic way to look at it. But, you know, Moosehead has to be our focus. I mean, you know, it's, it's our breadwinner. It's been our go-to project, you know, since really 2018. And, uh, you know, the, the, the other two projects, we also, we had, we acquired those actually before we even got Moosehead. So, I mean, you know, and they are well positioned in this district, you know, they're parked comfortably between uh, the Moosehead and the 4.2 million ounce uh, Valentine Lake project directly on the structure. Uh, we've done enough work to keep them in good standing and to uh, certainly generate some, some targets. Uh, I think right now they would be a perfect fit. For a, for a junior looking to get a foothold, uh, you know, in this district, uh, they are available for option. And uh, we've taken out some ads in the in the Northern Minor and stuff to promote them. Uh, and they could easily be drill targets, you know, within uh, within a very short order. So, uh, you know, uh, I encourage anyone <laughs> who is looking for projects to give me a call because uh, we've got a couple of good ones. And it's not like we don't, you know, think we can advance them ourselves. It's just that, you know, right now, I think it's important to focus and Moosehead has to be our focus. Absolutely. And you said you've got one drill uh, turning on that at the moment. Yes. Um, and you've, you've got more drills coming to site, yeah? Well, we wanted to have one drill dedicated essentially to expanding the eastern trend. And that, that's, that's basically where the big discovery was made in 2018 uh, with the 12 meters of 45 grams and stuff. So we want one drill basically just hammering away at that, you know, just making mm-hmm. that, like I mentioned, down to 400 meters vertically, you know, um, uh, and as long as we're getting it in step outs along strike, you know, certainly there. Uh, but the second drill will be focused on, uh, on other opportunities, including the western trend, which sits... Uh, conveniently about 250 meters uh, to the west of the east trend and as well as the targets I, uh, I hinted at earlier on with the uh, with the geochem results and, and we know the structure goes the entire length of the property I mean um, you know we could easily be one hole away from another you know eastern trend sort of thing so uh, mm. yeah um, so you know and that's really good for our shareholders I mean you know mm. and lots of excitement how, yeah and how long how long uh, through through the year can you continue drilling well, our intention is to drill up until Christmas. Um, if we have the 10,000 meter drill by then, well, like I said, we do have uh, a treasury that could support, you know, extending a program if, uh, especially if results are, you know, uh, are coming the way we, you know, we, we want them to come. Uh, but you can drill pretty much, you know, with the, the worst time for, for getting around here is in the spring when the roads are just soup, right? You know, when they're muddy everywhere. And uh, so, you know, there's a time in say, uh, April, May, when, you know, you probably wouldn't want to be going in. You could if you wanted to, if you, you know, didn't care about your trucks or anything, but, you know, uh, and we don't want to get into using a helicopter just because, you know, um, it's just too costly. So, you know, uh, you know, t- at least 10 months of the year you can drill here. Mm. Absolutely. Probably, probably that'd be a good time for you to be going out to a few uh, uh, mining investment conferences and uh, raising a bit more money for the next phase. Yes, and having, uh, well, maybe uh, the new normal is what we're doing right now, you know, more Zoom meetings, right? You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting used to them. I, I was a little unsure of them at first because of the, you know, the hands-on sort of thing, but uh, uh, this does work, you know, I'm, I'm beginning to enjoy them. And, <laughs> and uh, I never did consider myself very photogenic. So, I mean, uh, that's why I have the, the wallpaper behind me as it's a pretty little map, right? So... <laughs> Fantastic. Well, you've got a lot of um, a lot of work ahead of you um, over the next few months. Um, look forward to to seeing the results as they as they come out. Um, well, good good luck with the campaign, and uh, look forward to speaking with you soon. 
Well, thank you, Leo, again for this opportunity. And uh, yeah, it's going to, it should be an exciting time for our shareholders. Uh, uh, <clears throat> news will probably be a little slower uh, in this phase because of all the activity that's going on. Like I said, uh, you know, we're still waiting for a second drill because uh, we can't get one. And the lab, of course, uh, the local lab, even though it's close, uh, will 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 reflect as well the increased traffic and the number of samples that they be getting as well. So, uh, but you know what? It's still not nearly as bad as you know some of the horror stories you hear about. You know, people waiting three or four months for results from from other from other districts. So, uh, you know, um, it, things should be fairly reasonable. You know. Yeah. Well, it's a busy, exciting time for the exploration yes. sector. Um, we yes. wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thanks.